morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, families all around the Cayman Islands. Uh, my name is Stuart Wilson and I'm the Historic Programs Manager here with the National Trust. And I'm coming to you live today from the guardhouse in Bodentown. It's a little bit breezy out here, but uh, I, you guys will have to let me know if you can hear everything I'm saying. So this is the actual guardhouse for those of you around the world who may not have seen the guardhouse or are not familiar with the guardhouse. Those of us in the Cayman Islands have probably seen this, uh, this building on our way up through the eastern districts of our lives. And uh, this is the Bodentown guardhouse. Usually every Thursday here at the National Trust, we do what's called a throwback Thursday where we look at our historic sites and we give a bit of information about the sites. So today I'm going to be actually taking some questions about the actual guardhouse park here in Bodentown. Now the guardhouse park is actually one of 12 sites that the National Trust has responsibility for uh, in terms of heritage, built heritage and Caymanian culture. So this morning I kind of just wanted to come out here and actually take a few questions from the public about uh, anything that they may you know, want to know about the actual guardhouse, anything they want to know about the historic programs, um, uh, part of the National Trust operation. Um, basically our remit consists of taking care of a lot of the built heritage on island and we've got a flagship property also called the Mission House where we do a lot of our cultural exchange. It's really the epicenter of where we do a lot of our um, cooking classes or arts and craft classes and it's where most of our cultural exchange happens where we're able to show and uh, share Caymanian culture with, uh, with our visitors. So I'm here today at the Guardhouse Park in Bodentown. Some of you know it as Guardhouse Hill and this is one of the fortresses where our islands would have been fortified. Uh, another one that, uh, another fortress that uh, folks may be familiar with is Fort George in Georgetown. So this fort serves a similar purpose. It's the guardhouse in Bodentown. So it served a similar purpose as Fort George in Georgetown, which is also a, a, a historic uh, heritage site which is uh, looked after by the National Trust, owned and protected for present and future generations. Now the cannons, the cannons here you might wonder why they're pointing sort of inland and not out to the sea. Well these are not the original cannons. The original, these cannons were actually donated by the people of East End uh, after the original cannons were lost and so Back in those days, the cannons would have actually been pointing out to the sea. So it had been a, it had been a, that would have probably been the only difference. But the house was used for, as a courthouse, a jail, and uh, it had several, other, several uses throughout the years. And today, it's one of our heritage sites where the National Trust protects for future and present generations. Not everyone can, uh, can get out to see the sights, so I thought it would be good of us to kind of just come out on Thursdays when we do our throwback Thursday and do a question and answer segment based around the actual sites so that people can learn a bit more about the historic programs, the National Trust and what we do. Uh, I've got a few questions here. So the first question is when was the guardhouse built? And, um, well, uh, historical records refer to the guardhouse as early as the 1830s. Um, the house is uh, it's believed to have been one of three lines of defense against invading parties and Spanish marauders, right? As I mentioned, another, another fort, fortress in the Cayman Islands that was used for similar purposes is Fort George in Georgetown, right? 
Uh, got another question here. What is the historical significance of the guardhouse? All right. Well, this house is believed to have been one of the three lines of defense uh, against invading pirates uh, and Spanish marauders who were drawn to the prominence of the island's capital at the time, which was, uh, which was Bodentown, which was the first capital of the Cayman Islands. Um, so this was, uh, Bodentown was actually the, the place of the main harbor at the time, as well as the governor's residence. Uh, and, as, and another prominent person who lived in Bodentown at the time was the chief magistrate of the islands, Mr. William Bodden. Um, it was noted in an 1839 document of the local laws of Grand Cayman, that the prisoners at Pedro Castle were transferred to the guardhouse in Bodentown and held in a jail here. So a lot of, uh, a lot of the history about um, the purpose, using the guardhouse as a courthouse and as a jail, a lot of that's all documented and, um, and uh, verified history. Uh, got another question. What is an interesting feature of the guardhouse? Well, I, I, for me personally, I love the actual stone, the limestone, you know, and um, as if you're familiar with the Cayman Islands, you know that a lot, of our, a lot of our island is made up of limestone, and so that stone was used in a lot of the buildings uh, uh, at the time, and uh, very strong, very durable, and I love the thatch roof, it's one of the other quintessential Caymanian things uh, 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 about uh, Guardhouse Park and some of the other heritage sites, some of the other National Trust heritage sites. So that thatch roof with the thatch is funny, you know, if you cut the thatch on a full moon, uh, that roof will last for up to 15 years. Uh, if you cut it on any other moon, the thatch, the thatch roof won't last. Yeah? And um, I think my, well, you know, my grandfather used to tell me that the reason for that was that if you, if you do it on a full moon, then uh, the sap, the sap in the, in the thatch um, comes out. It's drained out somehow, I guess, uh, at that time. And that makes for more durable, durable uh, 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 silver thatch. So let's ask her another question. Why is it? Why is it important to preserve our historic sites? Now, this is a very important question. I think it's important for us to preserve our heritage sites because it's something that speaks to our history and gives us a, an understanding of where we're coming from. This is very important in terms of uh, charting our trajectory for the future is to know what were some of the main things that uh, we did in the past. And the Cayman Islands are known for their uh, for their shipbuilding, their waddle and daub homes, the uh, very unique and distinct cuisine. And I think that part of uh, protecting this is, is uh, for future and pres present present uh, generations is to uh, instill that national pride, instill that uh, understanding of who you are. You know that 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 celebration of your culture. So I think that it's very important. Uh, oh, somebody's asking, did they ever use the cannons for defense back then from invaders, or was it pretty peaceful? Brit, uh, I think it was pretty peaceful for the most part, uh, thankfully. Uh, you know, in many respects back then, Cayman was often overlooked uh, because you know the, the, the island was mostly, mostly, mostly swamp and. Uh, a lot of sea turtles, crocodiles, and uh, you know this was not the place that uh, someone was. You know, a lot of mosquitoes. Settlers, you know, at the time did not find Cayman attractive. But over the years, as the old saying goes, the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first, right? And um, sure as can be, sure as day. Today, the Cayman Islands is the pearl of the Caribbean. Uh, true to form, the people of the Cayman Islands, I think, sh should celebrate that. Sh celebrate that 
that trajectory, celebrate that passage through time, you know, and part of protecting our heritage, part of protecting our, our sites, and also celebrating some of our cultural uh, activities such as cooking and arts and crafts. It's all a major part of national pride and, you know, helping young people and young children to understand the importance of of country, understanding the importance of being, 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 being appreciative of their, of their heritage and knowing what it was to be Caymanian, not just today or tomorrow, but what was it like to be Caymanian yesterday. I think that puts things into perspective for the future and helps us to chart a course that is in line with what our ancestors and what those who came before us uh, would have wanted. So today we're here at the Guardhouse Park in Bodentown. I hope you can hear me well because it's quite breezy out here. But um, since I've been working with the National Trust, I've, I've taken immense pride and joy in, in these sites. As a young boy, I would have, I, I would have seen them growing up. And, um, and now having the opportunity to protect them, to preserve them, about them is um, is really 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 a privilege um, so that's about it unless you guys have any more questions this is guardhouse park and I'd like to invite everyone to come on up and when the when the um, when the restrictions are lifted when the government restrictions are lifted I'd like I'd like to invite everyone to take the, that opportunity to come out and see some of our built heritage some of our national treasures. Come and see the Guardhouse Park. Go and have a look at the Fort George in Georgetown. Come up to the Mission House in Bodentown. Uh, hopefully we'll be offering some virtual tours of the Mission House very soon. And maybe some virtual cooking classes as well. But as I was saying before, it's extremely important to preserve the built heritage as well as the cultural activities and, 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 and practices and mores of yesteryear because that gives us all the perspective we're going to need going forward. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. Hopefully I'm going to be maybe doing one of these uh, each Thursday uh, for the month of June. Uh, you know, we do a throwback Thursday each Thursday. Uh, where we look at the sites and we look at some of the history and some of the cultural aspects of being Caymanian. And so moving forward, I think I'm going to do this every Thursday for the month. I'll go to a different site and take your questions and uh, explain a little bit about the site and uh, what the National Trust is doing to uh, protect and preserve uh, Caymanian heritage. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, feel free to drop us a line at historic at nationaltrust.org.ky. Take great care. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.